My name is Alona Tobin. I started as a library officer in the State Reference Library in 1988. When retrieving materials from the stacks, you had to make sure that the space was clear so that you didn't get squashed in the compactus. We had to wear white gloves when handling newspapers, as it was very easy to get newsprint on your hands and end up speaking with a client being unaware that you had rubbed ink on your clothes or face. To this day, I still don't wear white clothing. Finding where an item was located wasn't as easy as looking it up on a computer. You had to look up microfiche and search through printed catalogues. Public libraries would send us handwritten requests. The requested item had to be looked up on a card catalogue and we used rubber thimbles to make flicking through the cards easier. We would then handwrite address labels to post the item to them. New stock would come in and spine labels, date labels and barcodes had to be added and the item had to be stamped with locations details. When the library management system was upgraded, all records from the previous system were transferred, but additional information had to be included. This meant being undated with piles of printouts to work through and looking at a very small monitor. My Doc Martens have taken me to work on every floor of the building. One of us had a bell on it that had to be rung to allow entry for non-team members, and my desk has even been located in the former stationary office. It's fascinating to me now how many of our collections and resources are available online, from ebooks and databases to images. It's great that everyone outside of the metropolitan area can still use us without having to physically visit. My current desk has three monitors to look at, which certainly makes things easier. I enjoy my job and look forward to new and exciting developments.